Hey folks, how's it going? Dr. Spin. In my quest to find my favorite albums of 2021, I've been working through these weekly eliminations and sharing them out with you. At the end, I'm going to have a couple of songs, uh, an example from each of these artists. Check them out, see what you think, see if I'm on the right track, agree or disagree below. Let me know what you think. Moving on. Okay, today I'm looking at Arlo Parks, Collapse and Sunbeams versus Salt's Untitled Rise. This is a terrible, terrible matchup for me. It's just a why am I even doing this to myself at this point? Because both of these are really, really great contemporary sort of neo soul um, albums, uh, neo R and B albums. Uh, Salt has played a really, really big role throughout the course of the year. Listening to it, and um, I, I love the the very political statement that it makes. It was like one of the first albums I reviewed this year, and really uh, even the previous year, Salt played a big role in what was going on in the previous year. They kind of got the got the chef. So throughout this year, I've really had my eye on this album, making it all the way to the end and being a top 20 for 2021. But then Arlo Park comes along. Okay. As great as Salt is politically on their album, as far as their, the way that they, they approach black issues on this album, it's phenomenal. It's a great, great statement. Um, and it's a very adventurous album musically as well. And this is where it kind of gets a little bit tricky because the artistic statement that this album makes is really, really solid all the way through. Arlo Parks also makes a similar artistic statement throughout the album. It's not quite as um, um, sort of black centric necessarily, but definitely very personal and definitely talking about things that were meant important to her growing up. Um, this discovery of her own bisexuality, racial issues are also embedded in that album. But the thing that really makes it difficult is that this album is super duper accessible. Like you listen to it and just goes down like water. The, the song after song after song, beginning to end, it's over before it begins. There are times when Salt's Untitled Rise feels a little bit overlong. And partly it's because of the path they take to make their message clear. You know, there's these spoken word things and, and, and there's excursions into kind of jazz and other stuff. And although it makes the album seem a little bit uneven, it's all part of the point of the album. Arlo Park's album is super consistent all the way through. It's a beautiful album beginning to end. All the songs are great. And her, her voice is, is stellar. So I'm really sorry, Salt. Two years in a row, we've had to kind of back this one out. As great as I love this album, I'm going to have to go with Arlo Park's Collapse and Sunbeams in this slot, advancing to the next, the next one. So agree, disagree, check out those tunes. Tell me what you think. Sound off below. Uh, and if you want to know when more of these videos are going to happen, please like or subscribe and then share this one off with your friends. Until you see you next time, I'll catch on the flip side.